hi guys welcome once again to the channel on today's tutorial i'll be making a short flared gathered gown and if this sounds like something you are interested in a family member is interested in please like comment and don't forget to subscribe enjoy i have two yards of fabric here with me and I'll be cutting the skirt part of the gown first. Now I folded it into two and sort of folded it like a triangle to cut my flare. I'm just making sure that everything is balanced. You know this fabric can move around a lot. Now this is a 180 degree flare and my circumference is gotten by Dividing my actual waist measurement by 3.14. I divided my waist measurement by 3.14 and it gave me 11 and a half. Now for the length of my flare, I marked 16. Now this was gotten by minusing my half length, which is 17, from the full length of the gown, which is 40. Now, minus 17 from 40 would give us about 23. That's how you figure it out. You minus your half length from your, your actual length. Then you know the length of your skirt. Then you minus the length of your gathers. I think that makes sense. Now I cut. Mind you, I'm just trimming this edge that is not straight. I'm not trimming it to the down. I'm just trimming this edge that is not straight. I'm making it straight. So I'm not cutting through. I'm done with my flare. I'm just cross-checking the length and it's giving exactly what I wanted to give. Now I'm going to cut out my gathers. Before doing that, I would have to measure my flare. I'll measure the hem of my flare that's the circumference and this is what I'll be using I'll keep this measurement in mind when cutting the length of the gathers because mind you you have to double it if you have enough material you could triple it but just make sure you have twice the length of your flare I got a total of 90 for my flare length and I would have to cut about 180. Now I folded this fabric into four but it wasn't relaxing, it was just moving so I had to fold it into two to cut out my gathers. For my gathers I'll be cutting out 9 inch for the gathers. Remember our, our skirt length should be 23. And for the flare, I had 16. It should be remaining seven. But for these gathers, you know, I would have to hem the, I would have to fold the hem. So I'm adding extra one for folding the hem and I'm adding half for joining. So the total of everything should be eight and a half, but I just made it nine. So I won't sort of like have shortage of gathers or stuff like that i always want extra whenever i'm making a dress instead of less you could always work with extra but less is like a disaster like i said this fabric is moving so i'm still struggling to get it aligned so I could cut my second piece of fabric. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is aligned. So I'm cutting off this one because I found out that it wasn't giving me a straight line. So I had to cut off this. That's what I'm basically doing. Next, I'll be marking out my nine inch and cutting it out. So let me do a quick recap of um, the length of my flare and the length of my gathers. My gown length is 40 and my half length is 17. Minusing my half length, you would have 23. Now my flare, 
for my flare, I cut out 16. Now, out of that 23, if you're minusing 16, you would have 7 left over. So, my gathers is supposed to be 7 inch, but due to the fact that I'll be folding the hem of my gathers and I'll also be joining it, I opted for 8.5. It was supposed to be 8.5. One inch for folding, half inch for joining. But I just rounded everything up to nine. And that's what I'm cutting out. So by the time you join these gathers to the flare, you would have 23 and a half. Now each one of the piece of fabric I cut out for my flare is about 60 you could actually see me trimming off the edge to give it a straight um, edge but each one of my pieces is about 60 it's actually 56 and times it down by 3 will give us 168 so that's what I used for my gathers now I'm going to join them together right sides facing each other and so I'm pinning it right now repeat the same thing place them right side facing each other pin and sew together this would give you one long piece of fabric Now you sew and also sew this place. After that, you make your gather stitches. Next, I'll be drafting my upper bodies. I folded this fabric into four pieces by 12 inch. And this is gotten from dividing my bust of 40 into four, which gave me 10. And I added two inch allowance for whatever i want one inch is that whatever I, like i told you i always want extra now i'm marking out half inch because i'm drafting directly on the fabric so i would want that extra for seam allowance next i'll be marking out my shoulder measurement divided by two mind you i'm drafting both the back and the front together Next, I'll be sloping it by 1 inch. Next, I'm marking out my neck width of 3 inch and my back neck depth of 1.5 and I'm curving it out. Next, I'm also marking out my front neck of 4 inch. Next, I'll be taking my chest measurement of 9 inch and that's what I'm marking out. Next, I'm taking my half length measurement plus half inch for joining. So my half length is 17 plus half inch. I'm marking 17 and half. Connecting. I'm taking my chest line down and I'm going to mark out my bust measurement. And that is 10 plus 1 inch allowance for seam, 11. I'm also going to mark out my waist measurement. And that is 11. So I'm connecting it. Now I'm going to divide my armhole measurement into two. Go in by 1 inch and connect to get my armhole curve. Next, I'm marking out my zipper allowance of one inch, and that's what I'm marking out. I'm also going to shapen it at the waist by half inch. I'm taking out half inch, and I'll connect to the top. Cross-checking my measurement to make sure that everything is alright. 
and i remember that this dress has a dart so i'm adding that one inch for that and i cut out now i'm cutting the back neck first i'm pinning it because this fabric is shifting it's not behaving normal so i'm going to cut out everything as one then i'll take out the back as you can see this is the back piece next i'll cut out my actual front neck remember i cut the neck with the uh, back and i'm cutting the front neck and that's basically it for the upper half Now I'm just making my notches for my dart and I'm taking my nip to nipple measurement of 4 inch and I'm notching it for my dart. Next I'll be drafting my sleeves. Now I don't know if any of you noticed the tug of war for that scissors that's currently going on. <laughs> so First off, I'm measuring the length of my sleeve, which is about 9 inch, and I'm marking it out. Next, I'm going to measure the circumference of my armhole, as this will determine the width of my sleeve. I got 11, and I folded my sleeve by 10, that's minus in 1 inch. Uh, the cuff, because our sleeves is always curved out, by the time I make my cuff, it would actually get me 11 now i'm just marking out my bicep which is five i divided it into two 2.5 and i also divided the width into two so i'm just curving it out now i'm measuring the circumference if it's up to 11 and it's actually 11 i'm just making sure it's curved exactly as i want now I'm marking my bicep measurement plus one inch and I'm connecting. I'm cutting it out. I'm just cross checking to see if I have 11 and I do. So that's all for the sleeve. Nine inch. I'll be adding a band of about two inch to make it eleven. I have my front bodies, my back bodies, my gathers, and my flare. And that's all I'll be needing to make my dress. Now this dress has a keyhole neckline. And I'm just ironing it out to make sure I have um, the midpoint so I could cut my keyhole. I take in depth of 3 inch and I'm curving it out. I'm extending it to 4. I'm just curving it out. So my keyhole is 4 inch deep. And I'm curving it out. Now I'm going to cut out bias strip for turning the keyhole and the neck. That's what I'm doing. I've turned the keyhole neckline and I'm just giving it a good press. Warning, I actually ironed this fabric a lot. I, I did a lot of ironing so you'll be seeing me doing a lot of ironing. Next, I'm going to join the back and the front by their shoulders. I've done that and I'll be ironing it out now. After joining the back and the front by their shoulder, I went ahead to bias the neckline together. I bias the neckline together from the back 
towards the front and back to the back if if what i'm saying is making sense just look at what i'm doing i biased it together i don't want that joining at the shoulder so i just biased everything as one now i'm still going to give it a good press I'm just going to keep this aside and work on the sleeves. Remember I said I'm going to be adding 2 inch worth of band to the sleeve. Now I cut out this by 4 inch and it was the length of my sleeve. I'm going to fold it into 2, give it a good press. So I'm still pressing the second one. Now that I'm done with it, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch it. I'm done stitching it out and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to give it a good press. Remember I said I, I ironed the living out of this fabric. So I'm going to iron it out. It's always rumpling, I don't know why. So that's why I'm ironing. I'm ironing it out. And I'm going to join it to my upper bodies before closing the sides. Now after ironing it, I'm going to make a notch at the midpoint and trim out the excess. Here I'm just going to give the second sleeve the same treatment I gave the first. So now that I'm done and everything is looking as it should look, I'm going to join these notched points to the midpoint of my shoulder. We are back to ironing. I've joined my sleeves and I'm just ironing it out to make sure it's giving. Next, I'm going to take out my dart of one inch and I've taken it out. I'm just ironing again. I took out that both at the back and the front and that's what I'm just ironing. I'm done ironing and I've joined the sides. This is what it's looking like. Now I'm working on my gathers. I've already made my gather stitch. I'm gonna join it to my flare. I'm going to be joining my gathers to my flare at the hem 
and how you do this is take one end of your garters pin it to the end of the flare and take the second end of your garters and pin it to the end of your flare then you walk in between to make sure it's the same width or length whatever you call it now I've stitched it down and this is what it's looking like this is how my skirt part of the dress looks like all done next I'll be joining the upper bodies to the skirt part I'm sorry this isn't showing as it should but I'm just gonna join the upper bodies to the skirt part and this I have done so this is how it looks like trust me I'm still going to iron Next, I'm going to sew on my zip using my zipper allowance and I will sew two to the hem to close it up. That's all for the dress. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. So this is me feeling not shy because I'm on my natural hair and the introverted me enjoying the dress at home. This is me feeling myself. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so if you've not subscribed please 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 subscribe and i hope you enjoy the video see you in my next video bye